how to remove the cart icon from header in Shopify step by step for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can remove this cart icon in your header in Shopify. Now, this can sometimes be a eyesore and it doesn't look visually appealing to certain stores. For my personal retail store, this header or this cart icon is nothing too bad. However, for tech-based stores or stores with a particular theme or a distinctive theme to follow, they can actually feel a bit annoyed with this kind of cart icon. So how can you remove it? Well, I'll show you guys step by step how you can do that. So to do that, simply head on over to your Shopify dashboard and I'm going to make it as broken down and as simplified as possible. So even if you're someone that has never edited any code, you can do that as well. It's a very simple code edit. You don't need to be, you know, a coder or you don't need to learn code to do this. It's very simple. So once you open up your Shopify dashboard, you're going to click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store, you're going to click on these three dots and click on edit code. Now, just as a precautionary measure, if you are someone that is not familiar with code and you're just really worried that you're going to lose the progress that you made on your store if you mess anything up, you can click on duplicate. So you have a duplicate version of your store that you can restore to in case you accidentally cut something out or mess something up. But we're going to directly click on these three dots and then click on edit code. Now. Once you click on edit code, you're going to go into the search files section and search for theme.liquid. Usually it's right at the top, so you will find it right in the layout section. It's called theme.liquid and it's present usually at the top. If you can't find it, just search for theme.liquid and then you will find it. So once you click on that, this will open up theme.liquid. And if you scroll to the bottom of theme.liquid, you will see the body slash body so you can either scroll to the bottom but if you can't find this line called slash body what you can also do is that you can go on ahead and go into the code just click anywhere in the code it doesn't matter where you click it and then press command f or if you are someone that is using a windows device click on control f once you do that on the bottom you will have a box or a light box up here and in this you will go into the find section and search for body click on next over here and this will show you all the places where body has been written now to filter our search to a bit of a briefer search just type in slash body and then click on next and there's only one text block that says slash body so you can find it over here now, once you have reached this line, you're going to go into this code over here and I have already, you know, opened this up. I will leave a link to this particular code in the description box down below so you guys can copy it as well. Now, once you do that, you can go into the code section and right before the body section, you guys will see that you have the body section over here. You're going to paste a space and then give a gap and then paste in your code. Now, once you've pasted in your code, make sure it is above the body section. You don't need to paste this code after the body. You need to paste it before the body and then click on save on the top right. Now, once you save this, it might take a couple of seconds for this to be synced up and you can refresh your Shopify page and you guys can see that my cart icon has been removed from Shopify. And this is the simplest and most easiest way where you can remove the cart icon from your Shopify header. However, some of you might wonder what happens if someone adds the product to their cart? Well, they can log in and then once they log in, they will actually be able to see their orders and they can view their checkout over there instead. Or if you want, you can build your own customized checkout. It's really dependent on how you want to 
you know, structure your checkout. A lot of people like to build their own checkout pages. So having a removal of the cart icon can be a great way to do so. Plus, sometimes you might be facilitating, you know, instant buys. So you want people to be able to, you know, add to cart and then just click on checkout. This won't remove the checkout page. This will just remove that little cart icon that you have. This does not, you know, disable people from viewing their cart. They still can view that. However, the cart icon is just removed from the header for a more visually appealing appearance. Plus, for a lot of people, they like to stylize their header and stylize their pages so you might have the header placed somewhere else in your product pages and in this way you can customize the header now there are so many other customizations you can do and just to show you guys another simple customization which is usually honestly so useful and that is why it always comes to my mind and that is customization of image sizes now your product images might be a size that is too large and is going to hog up too much space. So how can I reduce the size of a product image? Well, to do that, just go into the same code. And once you are in that code, I'm going to put back my cart icon because I miss my cart icon. But once you are in your Shopify code, you are going to go into section slash product or section slash main slash product. So you can go into this over here. And once you do that, or just click on the section and then press command F. And then from here, you're going to search for a wrapper. And then once you search for a wrapper over here, if you scroll down, you'll find this section, which is your media wrapper. And then you can change the percentage, just change the number on the percentages and then click on save. And now this will reduce the maximum width that is possible for a product on your Shopify store. So you guys can see now the image has been reduced to a more standardized size and then you can reformat the rest of your page accordingly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel plus if there's anything that I left out in this video or if there is something that you would like to learn about Shopify, if there's something that you are interested in, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below and make sure to check out our other videos on Shopify as well. If you are looking for more content on Shopify customization as well as any other specific guide that you need that can help you in starting to build your Shopify store and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.